it's Amber, musician and teacher. What is a tied note and how do you play it? Well, a tied note is notated with a curved line that connects the same exact note and you hold the note for the value of both notes. So if it was connecting a half note to a quarter note, you would hold it for three beats instead of replaying that quarter note. This is uh, as opposed to legato, which is a curved line that connects different notes. So how do you play a tied note? Well, I have a student that refused to play the tied note. We were working on the House of the Rising Sun and she would play it like this. So she, it's a tie note that connects the half note to an eighth note, but she was playing that note as a quarter note. So let me play just the first example. So it's in three, four time. It was three, one, two, three, one. But the way it's written, that tie note to the eighth note, so the next note is just an eighth note. So it really should sound like this. Three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two. So it changes the whole feeling of the song. And it's also boring if it's a one, two, three, one, two. So by tying that, half note to the eighth note, we get, we get more interest. It's one, two, three, and one. And a second example would be, he's got the whole world in his hands, the same sort of thing. So if you just played it straight, it would be, Dun, dun. So with this tied note, so in this case, it's an eighth note tied to a quarter note. So the way it would sound is and four and one, two, three and four, one and two and three. So it creates sort of like a syncopation, which is emphasizing the offbeat. So instead of it's one, two, ba, 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 ba. So we're just doing a little shifting there on the accented beat and it makes it more interesting. So pay attention to those tied notes and it, it will make your piece more interesting and being played correctly. Happy learning!